Oh my gosh. So here we are. Oh, hi. Hi, you're doing laundry too. This is, uh, this is Tharp World. If you're watching Tharp World, I'm Allison Tharp. And today we are, well, you know what? I have some laundry to do. First of all, I just want to thank you guys for meeting me at the laundromat. I have some, I mean, I'm busy this week, so I didn't have a chance to do my laundry um, before I set up for the show. So just bear with me. I'm still going to do a painting, but I have to do a little bit of folding. Um, so yeah, welcome to the show. I, I love this laundromat. I've been coming here for a long time, and it's, it's one of my favorites. So I just want, really want to do a painting today. First of all, I want to do a painting, an underpainting. This is a painting that hasn't been started yet. I've been, lately on Tharp World, I've wanted to start these big paintings with, just from scratch with nothing. So I have a, a gessoed painting here. It's got a little bit of a wash on it, but I wanted to do an underpainting, something rich and interesting, and then paint completely over it. And I've been asked this question, um, why I put so much emphasis on the underpainting, because I'll do an entire painting under, underneath one that looks completely different at the end. And I've been asked, like, why you would do that? Why wouldn't you just, you know, slap some colors on or whatever and then paint over it? And the answer is that I've, that I've I mean, I've pondered it for a while, and I think the answer is the same as why you would wear you know, a, a nice pair of underwear in public as opposed to a, a stretched out pair of worn out underwear with holes in it, even though nobody's going to know. But you know, and I know, and I know what's under this painting, and I know what's under my clothes. So the, the answer is there's underwear under this painting that I'm going to do. So today I can do any kind of underwears, any kind of like panties or enhancing underwears, butt pads, all kinds of stuff. And I've been doing a lot of research because I actually went to Target. I was looking for something to wear. I'm going to a wedding. And I mean, I don't go to fancy events very often, but I was going to Target looking for something to wear underneath this dress I'm getting. And I had no idea the technology. 2015 is a crazy time to be alive for all kinds of reasons, but one in particular, the underwear and the enhancement and the technology behind it is mind blowing. You can take the human body and sculpt it with spandex and Velcro and you can just, you can just shape the body in any way that you want. I saw all kinds of different kinds of enhancements. You can tuck different padding into the underwear it will expand and contract in ways that you could never imagine. And I was shocked and horrified and, you know, had to have some. So, of course, I left Target with more than I intended to buy, as usual. But that was a beautiful thing. And today, since it's the underwear episode and the laundry episode, I'm going to just illustrate it. And it's going to get painted over, possibly, unless it's really good, and then I'll keep it. Um, and it might be that good. I need help from you guys. To, to design beautiful underwear, all different kinds. So I'm just gonna start this whole painting. And it's so freeing to just have a huge canvas to do whatever you want on, especially if you know it's gonna get covered up. And you know, we'll just get started. We'll just get started. You should go if you're interested, you know, since we are on the laundry episode, just, just Google and have fun on the internet looking at all the different ways that you can enhance the human body with spandex and Velcro. And, you know, we, we were talking about socks earlier. We're all over 16. We know what it looks like when you're putting socks in there and that it's not going to work. It's like we all know. So just embrace technology. Embrace it. So let's just, I'm just going to start because I'm just inspired to see what is going to happen with this with this painting here. And I'm entertaining myself right now and I'm all alone at the laundromat and it's, you know, kind of boring. So you guys know how it is when you're like doing laundry and it's always nice to have some uh, conversation or have a friend call. So my phone is standing by and if you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, a number is flashing. This is a show where you can call in live. When you collaborate with me on the, uh, there's a person watching me right now. I think that I'm, I'm, I'm creating a scene in the laundromat because I'm speaking very loudly and everyone else is sitting quietly. 
um, and they're staring at me. It's okay, you guys, I'll be out in an hour. I'll be out in an hour. Um, just painting, don't worry about it. Mind your own business, it's fine. Um, you can give me a call. If you help me on this painting, and I will paint pretty much anything within reason that you would like me to, collaborate with me. I will read your tarot cards. I am a semi-professional psychic certified in the uh, art of psychic tree, psychic tree in, uh, in the city of Berkeley. Um, we're in Oakland right now, technically, but I can still read your cards legally. Um, I am licensed, so call me. That is your reward for collaborating with me on this piece. So I'm, my phone is standing by, you guys, and there's a number on the screen. Just, just call it. Just call it. Don't even worry about it. Just don't even think about it. Just do it. Just call. So here's, this is a nice pair. This is, um, you know, Target has a great selection. I had no idea that you could just enhance the body without any surgeries, just using spandex. Quite amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint this. I'm going to put some flowers on this pair. And don't worry, guys, I'll get to you in a second. First of all, if the pair of panties is uh, worn out, if, or guys, it, you know, if it's, if it's worn out, if it's stretched out, if it's stained, throw it away. Throw it away and get yourself, treat yourself to a new pair. You, the price is no longer an excuse. You can afford it. You can't afford not to. Get rid of them. There's a beautiful selection, just, just seconds away, just down the street at Target. Beautiful selection. Throw them out. Throw them away. So let's do polka dots. And the underpainting is just as important as the underwear. We tackle subjects of all kinds on this show. You know, we tackle subjects of all kinds. And this is a subject that I'm glad we're tackling because it, it isn't talked about all that much in, you know, in the art world. I, uh, oh, here's a, I have, you know, why is it that there's always like a pair of socks that like, where did the other one go? Like th there's one sock in here. Like I had, I brought two and now there's one. It's like, I don't know where it went. It's really weird. Um, but so, but now you get to see like all my favorite t-shirts and that's fun. Here's another sock without a friend. So this isn't even mine. I didn't, I think this was in the dryer before. I think this is in the dryer before I got here. It's not even my sock. But that's, that's part of the fun of doing, here's my keys. That's part of the fun of doing um, laundry in public is that you will find all kinds of things, just nice, th nice things, some things that are a blessing to find and some things that aren't. I just love the chance that you get just, this is just a really nice, 1970s like style laundromat that hasn't probably been changed since then. It's just a really nice relaxing setting and they let me paint in here. They actually didn't know I was going to bring my stuff in here. Um, I'm only going to be here for an hour so just chill. It'll, it'll, I'll be out in an hour. This is how I entertain myself while I do my laundry. It's perfectly fine. So this pair of panties is a looser pair, but if you get a tighter pair, you can bring in the padding. And I'll, I'll, I'll illustrate what that looks like. So the pads look like these English muffins. They look like this. They're kind of round, and they look sort of like a, you know, like a, like a, like a, the half of an English muffin. And you will just kind of insert them into these pockets here, creating a, a, a rounder, like firmer look, which apparently is more pleasing until the person you're with finds out that you're wearing these and then wonders why you're so dishonest. What else are you hiding? It's not good, so hopefully no one will know. I don't know if it's a good thing to wear on a first or I don't know if it's a good thing to wear on the second date or you might want to not wear them like further along as the relationship goes because if like the person finds out, unless you know you can all joke about it, it can be really awkward. It can be awkward.
But look at the enhancement. See, this is the sort of stuff that you're missing if you don't just go into the underwear section and just look. This is, I think this is actually for a guy. But they make them for women too, and they, the women's ones look more like, like a panty kind of, like with it's a higher, like a higher panty like this, and that's like for the men. Oh, you know what would be really sweet if like two flat-butted people went to Target and both bought a pair. That would be like the perfect date. That's like such a great date. I I had never thought of that. That would be a really great date idea. You know, if you're, if you're dating online or if you know you, you're on Match.com or um, on one of the sites, just go ahead and put that in your profile that's something you might want to do and you'll attract a really strange person. And hopefully you'll have lots of very strange adventures together. So let's just add like a little bit of... So have fun with your underpaintings, artists. You know, go crazy because no one's going to see them anyway. Unless you get in a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you should wear, that's why you should have nice underpaintings. <laughs> so I think the, one of the best ways to just to, um, you know, to blend or to possibly, you know, hide if that's your goal is, is a nice leopard or zebra print um, panting on the padded panty. Because I think when they're, she when they're either sheer or satin, you can really see the pad and it's very obvious. Depending on what you're into though, maybe people want people to see the pad. I don't know. I don't know. It's personal. It's a personal thing. So that's really a nice one. Um, you can also, we'll just indicate that you can put them there. So, you know, there's also what other kinds? I'm thinking, trying to think of all the different kinds of underwear to, um, to put on this, let's see. So these things um, are great. They come in different sizes. And you can put them in the bras too. And they are kind of sometimes like teardrop shaped. But it's, it's, it's just a really lovely way to say to the world, I'm not good enough. And I don't like what God gave me, you know? That's a really nice, um, you can also do that with those shoes that are really round, that you wear them around, they look like little boats. They, you walk like this and it says, I, I don't like, I don't like something about myself. And that's, that's not, never a great way to like, to attract, you know, positivity in my psychic opinion. I say attract, I say accept and attract goodness. Accept and love yourself. But if, if loving yourself involves butt pad, then I am totally for it. So I have a phone standing by and a deck of tarot cards that I may do a reading on myself if no one calls me. And I know some of you are thinking of calling, maybe lo long time viewers, but you've never called. It's okay to be scared to call. Just don't act on your fear. Just go right past it. Go right past your fear. And there'll be angels and, and spirit guides to help you pick up the phone and dial the number on the screen. The opinions shared by me are, may not be reflected by the compound gallery where this is filmed. This is Tharp World, meaning Tharp's world, which is in my head. It's a personal adventure sometimes good and sometimes bad. Today it's good. And so if, if anything that I say you don't agree with or perhaps you maybe don't, don't understand, that's okay. Let it sink in, just, just let it marinate. Maybe you'll have a bad dream or maybe you'll have a, a good dream, but it all makes sense later. The best psychic reading I ever got made zero sense at the time that I got it. And then years later, I was like, oh, that's what it was about. It had something to do with Jesus being the head of the space program of NASA. And at the time, it made no sense. And now, it, it makes even less sense. But I'm in acceptance of that, of just not knowing. I just don't know. 
I just don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I left that in the dryer. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. This place is so nice. They're so nice here. Oh, speaking of which, I better, I, I feel like I have stuff to do. I really want to, like, finish this painting, but I have all this laundry. I did this Calic shirt a while ago. I'm really proud of it. These are all my, some of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I have like all this laundry to fold, but I still want to do the show. I'm just going to like leave it for a second. I said I'd be out of here in an hour with like all my stuff and they're just like, they're not, they're not super happy that I'm here because I'm taking up a lot of space and they're like, it's, it's attracting, you know, a crowd and they don't really want a lot of people in the laundromat who aren't doing laundry because now there's like, a, now there's like a crowd of people. <laughs> There's a crowd of people watching me and they're just, you know, they're like, can you just do your laundry and leave? But I have an, I have an art show to do. I mean, my viewers really depend on seeing Tharp World every Wednesday and I really want to give that to them and I really need them because Tharp World is probably more for me than for anyone else. <laughs> that is true. It's a great gift to, to have it in my life. And if anyone watches, that's awesome. But, but even if no one was watching, I would, I, would, I would still be here doing this. The world could be ending, I would still do it. There could be like, you know, fires outside and an earthquake or, you know, some kind of apocalypse. And I would still be here doing Tharp World every Wednesday. That's just, that's just what we do. Some things you can really depend on. And one of those things is Tharp World. And enhancement. Don't be afraid to bring some enhancement into your life. Put the pads into the bra, insert them into the pocket, which is easily found right here, behind here. Put them in there. It's like an English muffin, but don't try to eat it. I think it's made of silicone or rubber, something like that. This is really fabulous. Let's do Let's, let's make it kind of like, because now, now we're like designing our own lovely underwear. And it's, it's really fun, actually. I don't really think to do this, but being around all this Berkeley laundry has really inspired me to do something that's not, you know, m m a huge gray or beige panty or bra or sweatshirt or pair of sweatpants or linens, is which is what I'm seeing. I shouldn't look at other people's laundry, and I'm sorry that I was looking at it. Sorry. I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to criticize your laundry, but I just, I just feel like we need a little bit of balance in the universe. I'll, I'm just going to paint really fast just what I saw, just cause to get it out of my mind. So there's, there is such thing as like, for ladies, a top that says, I just wish these things weren't here. And it looks kind of like this. And I think that's pretty much the only kind of underwear you can get in Berkeley. You have to go outside of Berkeley to find a, a pair of anything that's not gray, beige, or perhaps like a kind of a dirty white. I think it, it actually comes out of the package kind of stained or a bit grayish, as if it's been in the laundry like 200 times like since 1979. Again, these are my own opinions. This stuff comes straight out of my mind. And perhaps no one shares them. That's okay. So, and then there will be like, a little thing that's just kind of like stay away from me. But I think it can be worn in a cute way, depending on the lady. And then there's the underwear that comes in a package of 20 that a man 
can buy, or that a, that a woman would buy her husband at Costco or a woman would buy her wife at Costco. And it just, it just comes in, in like, a, like rolls, like maybe there's 20 of them all rolled up in a package. And I find that so interesting and so practical. There's just so many pairs in one package. It's like, it's so comforting to know that you will never be without one. And they just come like in a roll of like little taquitos all in a package. And they say Kirkland on them or something. And they're in different colors, usually like a navy blue, white, perhaps a brown, and maybe like a dark, kind of a dark red, like a, like a deeper red for special nights. It's really nice. I don't have colors with me, but we can all pretend. And, I'm, and, and the socks also come in the same way. So when it comes to that, that point in a marriage where a wife purchases her husband or her wife multiple pairs of these, these panties, Nothing but comfort and security can be, can be really enjoyed after that, you know? It's just a, it's a wonderful thing that a couple can do for each other. And they come in like a roll. It's beautiful. So I'm going to draw the packaging around it, just gently with a brush, just indicating that it's secure, tightly kept, and safe in this packaging. Clean, not going to touch the other groceries. I'm not going to touch anyone else's fingers, even all the people that have been, you know, shopping there. Nobody but the person who is going to receive them will have laid fingers on them, and that is just so safe. So safe. Anyone looking at this won't know what it is, but will know what it is. Okay, I know, I know. Okay, no, I'm, I'm actually doing laundry. I'm not just painting. Sorry. No, look, I'm actually folding. See, I'm folding. They don't, they're, they're like, what are you doing here? I'm folding my laundry. Look. See, I'm folding it. See, I'm doing it. I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to paint a little bit more. I'm just going to just, I'm just going to paint a little more. See, when you do art in a public place, you have to deal with people like, you know, it's not like a familiar thing to do. It's not like really that normal to paint in the laundromat, but sometimes you find the best inspiration there. This is upsetting me. I want to paint over this, but I'm going to leave it. It is an underpainting. Let's add something to this. Maybe some tie dye. What would this be? This is a Berkeley bra. This is a Berkeley bra. What does it look like? I need help, you guys. I need, if anyone's watching and I know you're watching, I know you're watching and you guys, Help me out. I need, some, I need to add to this bra. It's, it's Berkeley. It's a bra. Help me. Give me some inspiration for this because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of having a, a downward spiral of fear around how I'm going to create this in a more accurate way. I kind of, I, I need help. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to leave that and, and hope that a viewer will call me. And if not, then I'm going to have to try to get one of these people who are watching to contribute. And I think they mostly just want me to contribute silence because they're irritated with me right now because they're trying to read. They're like, why are you talking to yourself? <laughs> Who are you talking to? So a short. A short for a lady with control. Who doesn't want to control everything? I know I do. And now I can with this control top panty. Look at this control on the panty. You can control it, everything. There's control on the top, there's control on the back. You don't have to ever feel out of control again in your underwear. I love these elastic bands, and I can't even tell you, if you haven't looked, you need to go in this, in, and look at the technology. And guys, too, you know, just for fun. If you want to see, if you want to find out what some of our secrets are, you have to see the technology involved. It's a great time to be alive. Never before have we been able to accomplish so much with spandex. And it doesn't just, not just in uh, control the tummy, see, control it. Arrows pointing, indicating, look. Indicating the greatness of this civilization. Okay, um, so, 
this is good. I think I left them in the dryer too long because now they're kind of wrinkly, but. So my, and there's my keys. If you, the thing is always like when you're doing the laundry, like you're always gonna lose your keys in the laundry. Okay. Oh, and this is one of my, oh, some of my favorites. Um, so it's, it's really fun to do like a, an underpainting that no one will ever know is there. Like after I paint over this, like no one's even gonna know. Unless I, would anybody want to um, own a painting that was just underwear and arrows and butt pads? Is there anyone out there that would want to actually own that painting? Is my phone on? Where are the people, where are the viewers? Where isn't anyone calling me? Hello? Okay, yeah, totally. I'm doing it. See, I'm doing it. I'm folding. I'm folding. Hello. I, this is the public place, okay? I can do whatever I want here. I mean, I am doing laundry. It's, I'm doing it. Look at it. And also, I'm, I'm, I'm attracting a crowd, and this laundromat is really nice, and maybe people will come and do their laundry here. I know, people are so, they're so uptight. Look at, see if I hold, if I hold it. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh my gosh, thank you. See, a, a nice man walked by and gave me this flower. Oh, it's so sweet. I feel so, I feel so happy about that. That's so lovely. See, people like it. They like it. See, if I hold the laundry, like people will think I'm kind of doing it more and then it'll be better. So see, I'm holding it and I'm painting. We have to like, do this quickly because they are getting a little uptight about it. So there's some control here. And I'm going to do an another way that, that we can, what else did I see? Oh, I saw lovely black stockings and they have lots of control. I mean, from the, from the waist down to the ankle, nothing's getting away and nothing's moving. Nothing's gonna move around, it's, it's, it's secure. I wonder if the control tops and all of the padding and, you know, everything that's in a panty and a, in a tight, in a pair of tights is just more of a metaphor for, you know, the whole civilization wanting a little bit more control when things feel so out of control all the time. In this crazy mixed up world, what can we control but our panties and our tights? Think about it, I don't know. It's just something to think about. Where am I going to, okay, I'm going to put them here. We don't have to think about, you know, our undergarments failing us when everything else has. Just kidding, not everything. Just most everything. Crazy mixed up world. So we're going to just add in a darker pair of tights. Just gonna go paint this right in here. I'm just gonna fold while I'm, excuse me, just folding while I'm painting here. Just gonna fold that. I don't wanna, the thing about doing laundry, which is kind of like, is kind of tricky, is like when you're painting and trying to do laundry, you might get the paint on the clean laundry, which is not that practical. But if you can fold and paint at the same time, then that's really cool. It's like a party trick. So just gonna, this pair of tights doesn't look very, very uh, good for control. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tighten the leg. I'm gonna tighten it and create a little bit more shape. I'm gonna see, see before, this is before, it's lumpy. It's lumpy and it's not controlled. It's free, it's just like moving with the pants. It's, is it the pants, is it the butt that's moving? We don't know, it's all moving together. So we're trying, to we're trying to create a little bit more control. So I'm just gonna smooth that out. It's really weird in this, in this culture, that's kind of what we want. I find that kind of, kind of strange, but so much about this world is strange. 
So that's kind of more the shape that, that they want. And then the, this leg is kind of drifting off. It's a bit like drifting off the side of this canvas. This is another wood panel, and I have a couple other smaller ones that go on each side, which I'll be bringing out next week in a new fun location. I like painting in Berkeley because people don't really look twice at like kind of what you're doing. I mean, it may be weird what you're doing, and they don't even care. They're just, they give you flowers, they're in the laundromat, you're, you're painting, it's, it's the middle of the day, and here it's nighttime, you know, or daytime, or whatever time. It's really like pretty psychedelic there, you know, and it, and it really is. It's, it's free and very accepting. And if you have any kind of weird ideas, nobody even cares. Actually, nobody really looks at you at all. Unless you're holding a clipboard and then they hate you. Don't carry a clipboard around North Berkeley. They hate it. It doesn't matter what your cause is. I hate it. I don't want to clip. I don't want to see any clipboard people around here because Can we're, we're this, look dude no no I work in the neighborhood you know that I no you know I work in the neighborhood you know me you see me every day so we're near the cheese board in North Berkeley we're near Chez, we're near Chez Panisse and we're near um we're near Saul's Deli and this is clipboard central every cause you could ever think of people are always coming up with the clipboard they they see me every day they know I work in the neighborhood and they're still they're still on me like, like, I don't know what, like they're just, they're like hungry for the signature. They're hungry for the funding and the signature and for the injustice. God, if everybody with a, if everybody had their own, I should just get a clipboard. I have a lot of, I have a lot of complaining to do and a lot of injustice. I should just carry a clipboard for fun. I should just, if you don't want to make friends, carry a clipboard around. So what other kind of panty, what other kind of panty should I do? There's so many different styles and designs. Oh, it's so great. It's so great to be a lady. You can get like a, a short or you can get a higher, you know, a short that's a little bit higher. That's nice. And the men can either shop in the ladies section or the men's section and vice versa. This is a total equal opportunity area, so it's wonderful to be here. It's really great. And let's make this panty like a striped one. So the underpainting is actually underwear. This is something I haven't done before, and I don't know what this painting will end up as. But we will all know what, was, what, it, what it has under it. And that is really special because it, it, then it just radiates a certain confidence. Don't you think? Now, it wouldn't be complete without like some really bad ones. So the worst kind of, I think the worst underwear that anyone could wear, I mean, and not to, you know, think, say that it's a man that's gonna do this, but because it might be a lady, but it's like a pair of like briefs that has not been replaced since 1989 and has stretched out with the man as he grew into maturity and is just barely hanging on by the threads. Throw it away, throw it out, throw it out. It is a piece, it is spider, <laughs> oh my God, you're wearing spider webs. You're wearing spider webs and they're just falling apart. Throw them away, sir. I'm sorry, but it's true. Get rid of those things. Don't, don't hate me. I'm just like, don't hate the messenger. Just, I'm just saying. I'm making enemies here. Like, they don't like me that much. Throw it away. It looks like, a, it's just like falling apart. It just looks like spider webs. It's all stained and spider webby. Ugh. See, this is not okay. It's not okay to do that. So that's not what you want. It's just, it's like a ghost would wear them or something. They're just, they're basically just threads. They're just threads. They've been washed 
a million times, throw them away. Give yourself the gift of a nice butt pad, sir. Just enhance the mat, just enhance it. And boxers are nice, a nice boxer for a guy. Don't forget the men. A nice boxer flows free. No, yes. Or a boxer brief, kind of like this. And they, they're nice too. Like a nice, you know, perhaps a boxer brief, kind of over here. And that's, that's good. That's the back of it. That's nice, and it has little leg things. Oh, guest number 6432, call in. Psychic, telepathy. I know you're watching. I can hear you thinking, you may as well just call. Just call because I already know that you're watching. Call because you care and support the show. And plus, if you call, we go to a magic land. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but we'll go to a magic land. Plus, I need, I need some help with these under, underwears. I just need some help with them. I need some designs. I need some ideas. Help me design these undies. Wouldn't it be fun to be an underwear designer. That's what we get to do today. Oh, let me just just fold a little bit here because people are just going to do a little folding. I, there's a guest watching. And there's a couple other people watching off the street. Oh, he, is this the other sock? Oh, cool. Oops. I found the other sock. It was, it was hiding. It was hiding down there. And what else can we do with this and this? What is it? Black panties? White ones? Gosh, there's so much we could do. It's a beautiful night, day here. I think it's daytime. I can't tell because I'm so involved in this painting and on, in, um, and in Tharp World. So I think it's probably nighttime right now. It is 8 o'clock. Let's put a... A lovely, like, polka dot flower pattern here. Just beautiful. Because who doesn't want, who doesn't want to look like a circus tent when they take their shirt off? But this is fun, and it's all about fun here. It's lovely. It's going to be a lovely underpainting. And we'll all be happy with the painting that goes on top of it, whatever it is. So that's pretty. And then these boxers, let's just do a nice plaid. Let's just do a nice plaid pattern. There we go. That's good. And then we'll go through with a smaller line. Just go right in there. Isn't it relaxing to do laundry and paint at the same time? Isn't there something really relaxing about doing laundry? Yeah, you can finish your laundry or what? Okay, 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 sorry, sorry. I am doing laundry. Okay, okay, okay. I am doing laundry. Look at, see, I'm doing it. I come here all the time, you know me. God, see. If anybody's having any fun, they just like, as long as you look miserable, they leave you alone. But as soon as you have a good time, they're just like, get out. He causing a scene. Get out. I'm doing it. See, I'm folding. Folding. God. So I got tarot cards here too. I'm trying to make a little extra money. Not for you guys, though. It's free for you guys um, if you call in. If you call in, I'll give you a tarot reading. But if you're just passing by on the street, it's, it's 10 bucks. And it's a minute, but it's a really intense minute of truth. And, you know, if you have that feeling that something isn't right in your life, I can try to help you have, you know, sort of an answer or some insight into it. 
I can't fix anything for you, but I can kind of put you on a different, you know, place to, you know, in thinking, you know, I can kind of help your thinking or give you a different perspective with the cards. So that can be helpful. It can also make things worse, so it's kind of a toss up. <laughs> I don't think it would make things worse unless you decide to take it there in your own mind. For me, I will help you. After that, I can't help you. And it is free, so. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna start to have to overlap the panties because I'm running out of room. Oh, it's a sports bra. That's what it is. And who doesn't want enhancement when they go to the gym? Every place is a potential place to show off the padding and the control. Because everybody's thinking about, you, you know, how controlled and how padded you are constantly. The spotlight is upon you, just so you know. And so there's a nice, you can also take these pads and put them into the sports bra. Oh, it's hard to be a human. It's hard to be a human. Don't let your underwear become, sp <laughs> become spider webs. And after that, you're pretty good. Like, I think it's, that's just one of the pitfalls. Oh, this is so pretty. I, I'm, I just feel really lucky to, you know, have some art appreciators walk by. Even if I think they might have been, you know, on the LSD. But it's okay, this is fun for everybody. It must be crazy to watch if, if you're doing that. And this will be another, another bra, you could, which also you can add the padding, just so, like with the, just follow the arrows to enhancement. And this is very nice, and you can put them here. You can see underneath that that's where they fit. And then just put the shirt on top. Don't wear this underneath. Here's the instructions, it's very easy. And then just put whatever shirt you're gonna wear, like a t-shirt over it. So we'll just go ahead and indicate that a tiny American Apparel half shirt would look very nice with this particular bra and these enhancements. So I'm pretty much designing an entire wardrobe for probably four different people. I don't know who they are yet. Maybe it'll be the characters in this painting. A t-shirt. Hmm. Okay, okay. Look it, I'm doing it, see? Doing it. Doing laundry, doing it right now, folding the, where is this? This isn't even mine. I don't even know whose this is. This is creepy. Why is this in my laundry? I don't know whose this is. It's not mine. This, is this anybody's? Is this any? Oh, okay. That's mine. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. Yeah, keep your stuff out of my, keep it out of my dryer. People are always putting the laundry in the dryer trying to get some free time. Just trying to get some free time. Ah, oh. oops. So here's the other sock. Oh, you know the great way to, so, I'm gonna bundle some socks. This is, this is getting pretty out of control here. I need, I need to know what, what other kind of, what, God, what else did I see at Target? I'm trying to think of what other kind of, what other kind of thing I saw. I think what I, oh, the, the control. Oh yeah, the control tops, I got that. But then there was control, there was an entire bodysuit. That was crazy. There's an entire bodysuit full of control. And it was like, it was intense. So, like from, from shoulders to ankles, control. Nothing is moving, nothing. Nothing's moving around. Nothing's moving with the pants, nothing's moving with the skirt. There's enhancement everywhere. And where there isn't, there's, there's constricting. There's constricting and there's enhancement. So we see, there's 20 minutes. Okay, I got 20 minutes left on my dryer. I gotta make this quick. I got 20 minutes left on my dryer. 
Oh, hold on a second. I gotta get this. I know there's no cell phones allowed in here, but I'm just gonna take this call really quick and put you on speakerphone. Hello, you're watching Tharp World. Who's this? Hi, this is Ellen. Ellen. Hi, Ellen. Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> Looks amazing at the laundromat. You have so much to do. I know. Well, I brought my whole life in here to kind of just keep me busy because it's so boring doing laundry. But thank you so much for <laughs> well, you watching. Really know how to pass the time. I do know how to pass bored, the time. Bored. I don't like being bored. I like to I like to stay busy. I like to stay active. So you're are you so you're watching yeah. the show. You're watching me paint the underwear and 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 all the different kinds here at the laundromat. Yeah, I really like the American Apparel tee. That was cute. Oh, this one up here, yes. Yes, it goes over the it goes over the bra, you know. You got to it's um it's practically see-through, so you have to be conscious to cover up the enhancement on the bra, you know, with pro probably another lacy shirt. It's American apparel is a tricky line to wear. <laughs> Those spider webs. You're right about that. I mean, yeah. that's oh, I'm I'm sure that we've all we've all seen that at different times on a man. <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. It's not a it's not a fun experience at all. <laughs> it's just a just a public service to let the men know throw those things out, throw them away. Yes, that's that's, that's perfect. Okay, so. <laughs> So, Ellen, what do you think I should do next? What, what, are you seeing anything on here that you want to collaborate with me on? I kind of need some help with this Berkeley bra up here that looks like kind of a big sports bra. And maybe there's some, you know, and, or if, you, if, if there's something I haven't thought of, I'm trying to think of all the different kinds of underwear, but I, I maybe I missed, I missed a kind. Can you think of anything that I may have missed on this thing? Or a pattern? Did you do like a really, the like really deep song action? The thong, oh my God, how could I have missed it? How could I have not thought of that? See, that's why I need help. I need my viewers to collaborate with me. Oh my God, so should I do, is it like, should I do a man thong or a lady thong? I'm thinking, I'm thinking like man thong. Like one of those, like, yeah. w okay, yes. With maybe some enhancement. Maybe some enhancement in the front. Okay, so they're yeah. tricky. They're tricky. It looks like, so we have enhancement, and then I'm going to try to think of what they look like. So there's the enhancement, and then there's the, then there's the back, and then it just kind of, kind of it like flows free, the back of it, and, and so it just, it kind of looks crazy, and yes. So there's the front. Can you see what I'm doing? It's, I, it might be hard to see it. So here's the, <laughs> I'm trying to indicate like the shading or the shadow, like that you can, okay, and there's, there's the thong part that, that's sort of flowing free. It's not, on, it's not on the man yet. So that's why it looks like that. It's, it's, oh, oh, it's it, at the laundromat. It's at the laundromat, yes. It's, it's at the laundromat. Let's do another view do you of. See anyone? Do you see anyone holding any of those around you? No, all I'm seeing is a lot of big gray panties and kind of beige <laughs> bras and sweatpants and spider web, mm. spider web briefs. I mean, this is Berkeley. So this is North mm. Berkeley. It's, you know, it's a, it's a hippie crowd. I don't think they've bought new underwear since like the 70s. I really don't. So l I'm just going to try to, s try to draw. Okay, it's hard to draw, it's hard to draw a thong when it's not on a man, like, like trying to draw it without his, without his butt. So I'm just going to try to draw the butt. So here's the butt. I'm just going to, I'm just going to have to like indicate it because it's like impossible to, to describe without. So there, it's kind of like this. Okay. So that like goes to that. That's what it looks like. So there's the front. Let's put zebra print on it. I'm going to move mm, this, excellent I'm, choice. I'm going to move this water so we can put some zebra print. People aren't even going to know what this is, but we will know what it is. <laughs> so zebra, it's like a zebra thong. You know what else I forgot was like that kind of Borat thong that's like a, it's like a bathing suit, but it's like a sling. That's exactly what I was, that's exactly what I was thinking. 
exactly what I was picturing. Oh, okay. So there is that. That's a smaller thong. But the Borat thong is like really, how, that's, it's almost impossible to draw it unless it's on someone. But it looks like a slingshot. It looks like, it looks like a slingshot. It's really, really, really tall. And then it just has enhancement down here. So it kind of looks like that. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so welcome. And, and it's time for now your psychic reading. Because everybody oh, wow. on Tharp World who contributes to the painting gets a one minute psychic reading with the cards if you would like one. Would, oh, you, sure, sure. would you like one? Okay. Because I love, I love giving them. It's, a fun, it's fun for me. So I'm going to have you think of a question. Any question or any, any um, situation that you want a little bit of clarity on. The readings are one minute long, so make it concise in your mind. And then I will draw three cards for you. And they, my producers time me, so I don't go over. So think of your question while I shuffle the cards, okay? Okay. Whoa, that was a really good collaboration. I completely forgot. How could I forget about a man's, whoa. Oh my gosh, I'm not going in another world. I don't know, I don't know if you can see this, Ellen, but I'm in, another, I'm in another land right now. Like when I do my psychic readings, it gets crazy on Tharp World. I don't know what's going on behind me. But I know something's going on because I feel crazy. I'm going to shuffle these up. I'm going to shuffle these up for Ellen. OK, here we go. Shuffle them up the cards. Don't worry. I'm going to be out of here soon. I mean, I'm doing the cards. I'm doing, I don't live here. I'm not moving in here. I'm just I'm going to be here for another few minutes doing my laundry. They want me to leave because I'm starting to take over this side of the room with my, act, with my, acti <laughs> with my activities. I didn't really ask if I could come in here and do this, so they, they're kind of they're kind of mad that I'm here, but okay, so Ellen's cards, readings, I'm shuffling them, thinking of her question. Okay. Okay, I've got the cards all laid out. My producers are going to start to time me. So, okay, let's start the timer now. Okay, so what I see is a group of people around you. There's some, po oh, there's goodness. There's work. What I'm seeing, it's work related. Oh, and it's, oh, the wheel of fortune. Yeah. This is excellent. So I'm seeing oh, there's God. a good group, there's a good group of people around you in terms of your work. Huh? I see you working hard at something huh? kind of newer, and I see the Wheel of Fortune card, which is, a yes. which is a turn of fate. It's a big life change, almost like a new chapter. It's a really good card good. because it indicates yes. um, a complete shift, a change in, um, in your direction. Um, I don't know if you're going for yes. a new job or what's happening, but it's really, really fortunate, and it's uh, a really good time to change it. It's the perfect time, actually. So. What it's showing is that there's going to be um, a lot of hard work ahead, but there's a team of people around you that are really, really supportive. And it's going to be wow. excellent, whatever you do to change it. I see the change coming pretty soon, actually. And when it does change, things aren't going to be the same as they were. Like, it's, it's almost like when these things happen, you can't go back to the way they were. It's completely different, wow. but it's positive. So keep going in the direction you're going, because when this positive change does happen, it's, it's going to benefit you, but it's also going to benefit some other people, too. So good luck to you. And thank you so much for your collaboration. The thongs look great. I love them. Thanks for calling. Bye. Oh, my gosh. That's good. This is a good reading. She got a good one. She's, that's, I always like to do, I, like, I always like to deliver the good news. So, so we still have a few more minutes. minutes. Um, my my phone is on. on. They're they're asking me to pack my. They're asking me to you know out. So I'm just gonna go ahead, ahead and put my laundry in the basket. basket. And okay. okay. Yes. 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 I'm, yes, I'm, 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 I'm packing up. Going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. going. I'm going to paint a little bit more. I'm still working on the enhancing body suit. Talking about, talking about the enhancement and, and, and contour for ladies, ladies 2000 is the time of time control, control, control tightening, tightening, adding, adding, adding letting, letting what needs to be enhanced, 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 enhanced. controlling, controlling what, we what we don't like, like to have, have 
swapping free, free. Here, is here is control, control. and the enhancements, you know, you know as, 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 as you know, fashion has changed, changed over the years, years. years. They enhance and, and contract different parts of a woman's body, which is so funny over the centuries things have changed. Currently, we want to enhance other areas before we didn't. So isn't that strange? For men, it's always the same. We want padding, and we want padding. There's only two places where men want padding on their underwear. It's been that way ever since, that, that men realized that they could put socks in their underwear and enhance that. But now, you know, since we're a little smarter than we used to be, socks don't work so much. So a bodysuit kind of looks like, God, it's so crazy. It's just, it's got paneling. I see that. I see that I have five, five minutes left on my, on my dryer. I see that I have five minutes left. I am well aware of that, sir. Thank you. And I am... I am folding and I'm packing up. See, I think I'm doing it. I'm doing things. I'm doing things clothes related. The clothing is being folded and moved around. It's being moved around and I'm also still painting. So I have five more minutes if anybody wants to collaborate, if they see anything they want to add. I can't believe I forgot to put the thong on there. That's crazy. And then ladies too. Thongs are actually really hard to draw unless you're drawing on a person. But these are just like kind of free-floating underwear without people. Let's draw the... This is a really nice... See, I, I, I was Googling the different kinds of padding that you can have. This is the back and the front here. And some of, the, some of them are very, very uh, extreme. And you can't even tell what the front or what the back is. And those are my favorite. Panels. So let's do a couple more. I am going to finish this. Oh, let, then there's these kinds that are like, they almost look like a frosted cake or something. There's just like a lot of, there's a lot, this, this is a more romantic panty. It's got like a lot of, there's a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of flow. There's a lot of flow on this panty. Just a lot of, just, it's almost like a sea creature. It's just like a lot. It's just flowing free with the, with just like very free blowing in the wind and we are nearly finished I might have to just actually pack up my stuff I, I want to do like one more just really one more just a like a butt and I just want to describe like how how the how the tights can work. I'm so excited about the fact that this is part of our culture now and part of our world. That this is this is a clothing solution. Look at the that is these are just this is good. This is a good underpainting. This is a good underpainting. I keep wanting to do it, but I have to stop because I have to get out of here. They're, they're asking me to leave, so I'm just going to put my stuff. I'm just going to put my stuff in the basket. See, look at I'm going. See, I'm putting my stuff in the basket. Just like putting my laundries in here. Okay, keys. Good, okay. And phone. And I'm gonna come get this. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go to my car. And then, tarot cards. Just gonna, just gonna, pack those up in here. And uh, and my psychic setup. Just gonna take it all, take it all with me. Okay. All right, you guys. And I'm gonna come back and get this in just a second. I just have to go out to my car and just put my laundry. Okay. No, it's good. Um, so thank you all for watching.
and for being on location with me at a North Berkeley Laundry Mat and for my great caller. It's been so much fun, an underpainting of underwear. Thank you for watching Tharp World. Thank you and good night. Mm. Okay.